So we start talking about different types of tests, left tail, right tail, and two tail tests. We have an example here, hypothesis testing using a p-value. According to a study, the mean cost of bariatric or weight loss surgery is about $21,500. You think this information is incorrect. As a statistician, you randomly select 25 bariatric surgery patients and find that the mean cost, the average cost for their surgery is $20,695. Also from past studies, the population standard deviation is given to you as $2,250 and the population is normally distributed. Is there enough evidence to support the claim at 5% level of significance? Very good. Let's take a look at the solution. First of all, since sigma is given to you from the question, the sigma or population standard deviation is $2,250. The sample is random and the population is normally distributed. So you can basically use Z test. Remember the claim. Claim says the mean is different from. It's not the same. So it means that the claim is your alternative hypothesis, mu or the guest population average is not $21,500. It's opposite. It is. The null says mu is exactly $21,500 and alternative says no. It's either less than or more than. That's how we end up with two-tail test. Very good, the level of significance is 5% and Z is equal to X bar minus mu divided by sigma over square root of N. So you can basically punch these numbers into the formula and calculate the Z value. Your Z value is uh, negative 1.79. And you have a two-tail test because the claim or alternative hypothesis in this case is two-tail. This is Z which is negative 1.79. So since Z is negative 1.79, the area to the left-hand side of Z is about 0 0.0367. And since you have a two-tail test, you're going to multiply this area, multiply this probability by two. So you found your p-value. P-value is 0 0.0734. Remember alpha, alpha is 5%. This is about 7%. 7% is more than 5%. Since 7% is more than 5%, p-value is more than alpha, we say that we fail to reject the null hypothesis. When we say fail to reject the null hypothesis, it means that we support the null hypothesis. When you support the null hypothesis, it means that you reject the alternative hypothesis. Interpretation, there is not enough evidence at 5% level of significance to support the claim that the mean or average cost of bariatric surgery is different from $21,500. And here's a quick summary for you. You have the graph and the steps to follow the null hypothesis, mu is $21,500. Alternative hypothesis, which is your claim, is not. Since sigma is given to you, you can find your z, which is x bar minus mu divided by sigma over square root of n, or negative 1.79. Negative 1.79 is z square on the left-hand side. The area to the left is 0 0.0367 multiplied by 2 to get the total area on the left on the right-hand side. So key value is two times this little area, which is 0 0.0734. Now that we found our p-value, about 7%, 7% is more than 5%. So it means that we fail to reject the null hypothesis or we support the null hypothesis.